this is Leslie Swan coming to you live from the beautiful property here at 18 Alteza in the Pacific Hills community of Mission Viejo. I am going to flip it around so you can see the front of this house. It is, again, like I said, 18 Alteza. And welcome to the virtual open house for this property. It is a four bedroom, three bath home here in Pacific Hills, which is in the heart of Mission Viejo. It is 2,687 square feet. Let's go ahead and head on in. As you can see, as we walk up to the door, the home features a ring door bell, double door entrance. As we walk in to vaulted ceilings. And first to our left, the formal dining room. Now part of this open house is all about you asking questions, so definitely feel free to ask questions or leave any comments or just say hi so that I know that you're out there. But again, we are at 18 Alteza in Mission Viejo. It is conveniently located in walking distance to um, Fred Newhart Middle School. which I'll give a shout out to because my daughter goes there. My son went there last year, but now he goes to Capo and Capo uh, Valley High School is the high school that this home is mapped to as well. Again, this is a four bedroom, three bath home, 2,687 square feet. As you can see, shutters throughout the downstairs. A great staircase that I could see having wonderful prom pictures as your son or daughter comes down those stairs. And then you can see here a living room, the formal living room with fireplace and direct access to the family room. Again, vaulted ceilings. Something that this property has that I'm not going to be able to show you, but that I can tell you about is one, it has um, a whole house fan that was just added last year and it has solar panels. And I can tell you actually that the whole house fan um, is a wonderful thing to have. We actually, I personally just added it to my home uh, last week and have noticed what a difference it makes in cooling down our home in the morning before a hot day like today because it is 93 degrees right now in Mission Viejo. Um, but also then how it cools down the house at night. Um, so it really minimizes the use of the air conditioning, which is nice. Yes, Kim, I agree. Um, I have been very happy with the whole house fan thus far. And as you can see underneath the staircase, there is a lot of um, storage area. So that's always nice. And as you walk through here, you have the powder room. Yes, and if you do want more information on a whole house fan, definitely feel free to um, message me separately or I will actually include um, some information in the comments um, about the company that we went through here in uh, Orange County. We actually went through the same company that this home is using or that they used for their whole house fan. So as you can see here, a nice size pantry right as you go into the kitchen. kitchen with um, very lovely cherry wood stained 
cabinetry, granite counters, and appliances that are just a couple years old. They're all Whirlpool. Yes, Mike, it is very nice. And I can hear outside already um, one of the best parts about this house, but we'll get to that in a minute. As you can see here, a laundry room right off the kitchen with sink and cabinetry which is always great for storage for stuff that either goes out to the garage, which this garage too, I will tell you, I'm pretty impressed is a pretty darn clean garage. As you will see, and it's got storage up above and then a workbench over on this end as well but kept very neat and tidy, that's for sure. Then we'll make our way from the laundry room, how you would normally probably be entering the house through the garage, then again into the kitchen. You'll see the dining nook area. Again, shutters throughout. to then the open and spacious family room that includes yet another fireplace and a dry bar, if you will, because it doesn't have a sink, but it does have a uh, wine fridge and certainly space um, to make a bar if you so choose. One thing I'd like to point out also is the beautiful crown molding that is throughout, and as you can sort of see the blades of the fan, um, there's also a ceiling fan in this room. Now we will go outside to my favorite feature actually of the property because on a day like today when it is 93 degrees out, this is where you want to be. So first of all, we're stepping out onto a covered patio you can see this screen um, hanging down a bit because the house is actually north-south facing. So right now, I am um, the camera angle is facing south. So as far as perhaps being beaten down by the sun, you won't have to worry about that as much because you will have the house next door to you blocking that. And again, just kind of looking back on the house. I'll step over here real quick too so you can see that there is an outdoor TV as well as a barbecue bar with fan, fan, so a couple of fans. And then just a nice, nice side storage area over here. Yes, I agree, Mike. It does look inviting. I might accidentally fall into the pool right now because it is that warm out today. This is actually where you step into the pool. As you can see, there is the waterfall fountain area over there and the hot tub or spa. There is even this really nice hammock relaxation area underneath a tree. And as you can see behind us too, all this beautiful green lush landscape, that is actually all maintained by the HOA. So anything beyond, as you can see that uh, painted wrought iron gate, that is the responsibility of the HOA. But more importantly, you don't have any neighbors behind you. So definitely, you know, some nice privacy. Again, as you can see here, a nice sitting area. And then I will take you over to this side as well. Yes, Colleen, thanks for watching. You are correct. This is a really big pool. I mean, there's the deep end on this side 
and then more of the shallow end on that side. So it really is somewhere that people could have their own space, but then when we all get back into entertaining and being able to not be so socially distant, um, we could all be in the same pool together and have a ton of people over for a fun pool party, which is probably what everyone's gonna want when we get back to our new normal. And then the pool equipment is just back here. And as you can see, some nice rose bushes all along. With really pretty roses up there too. Really pretty color, kind of a peach color. So again, we will say goodbye for now to this beautiful resort-like backyard so that we can head inside and go upstairs. As you'll see, these are French doors. But luckily and nicely, there is the screen door. And again, then we are back into the family room and kitchen area. Sorry, I'm adjusting the doors too much. So we'll walk this way from the family room into the living room again with the vaulted ceilings. And as you can see, really nice five inch, maybe even six inch actually, um, baseboards. Again, one of the two fireplaces downstairs, and then we will head upstairs. And we will first turn right to the master bedroom that features, look at that, yet another fireplace. As you can see, there are shutters in this bedroom as well. A nice, I wouldn't call it a retreat, but a um, nice area where you can perhaps read a book next to the fireplace. Or if maybe you have a treadmill or a Peloton bike or something fun like that, you could certainly put that there as well. And then you walk into the master bathroom. Now it's probably gonna be near impossible for me to not get a video of myself in one of these mirrors, but I will try my best. As you can see, a dual vanity with granite counters and oil rubbed bronze hardware. Double mirrors, again, really high ceilings. These mirrored closet doors actually go into the walk-in closet. As well as the attic access. And we'll step out. Water closet. with its own privacy, but a window too. So some natural light and a beautiful um, tile remodeled soaker tub. As you can see, it's pretty deep. So some serious relaxation and those are um, privacy shades. Um, that easily go up and down, which is nice. And then we have the shower with the um, with two different shower heads. One that is um, you're able to the handheld that you're able to move around, and then the 
stationary uh, shower head as well and two nooks that are built in and a bench which is always nice and frameless glass which I personally love as you'll see two panel doors again as we walk out into the hallway now from the master bedroom to the three remaining bedrooms. All four bedrooms are upstairs. First here on our left is actually the um, guest bathroom. As you will see, dual vanity. With again, oil rubbed bronze um, hardware tile flooring and once again a walk-in shower with um, handheld shower head that as you can see also can be stationary and then we will head out to bedroom number two which again has crown molding as well. Now, if you do see the online pictures of this bedroom, it does actually have a, um, oh, a bunk bed. So this is that bedroom, but the bedroom situation has changed a bit and uh, mirrored wardrobe, mirrored closets. So that's bedroom number two. We're now going into bedroom number three, but before I squeak by it too quickly, you can see linen cabinets at the end of this hallway. And then bedroom number three, that includes mirrored closets as well. Again, honeycomb shades for privacy. And then we have bedroom number four that is currently used as a gym that again also has closet space set up for a TV and once again vaulted ceilings. So again, this is the property at 18 Alteza in Mission Viejo in the Pacific Hills community. This is a four bedroom, all bedrooms being upstairs, three bathroom home that is just under 2,700 square feet. Just so you can see, this is the view from up above. now we can go back downstairs. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. If you'd like to find out more information about this property or see anything more specifically, contact us at 949-444-1601 or email us at info at the swan team oc.com or of course you can just leave us a message here or direct message us on Facebook. You can also find out more information about this property by going to 18alteza.com that's 18-A-L-T-E-Z-Z-A.com and we'll just have one last look at the pool area because right about now it's where I'd like to be hanging out. This is Leslie Swan of the Swan Team. Signing off. Again, if you have any questions about this beautiful property at 18 Alteza, contact us. 
give us a call at 949-444-1601 or email us at info at theswanteamoc.com and let us know what questions you have, what you think of this property, what things you like about it. We'd love to hear. And of course, if you want to come see it, just let us know. We will provide you with the gloves and the masks and all that you need uh, to safely see this property and make it yours so that you can be swimming in that pool this summer, next month, June. It's almost June. Well, it's not almost June. It's early May. But before you know it, it'll be